demo here is for the Denton Explorer 14 sputter. This has three cathodes to it. Here's your three cathodes. You got cathode one, cathode two, and cathode three. Over here, you got two power supplies. The top power supply is a manual power supply that came with the system. I guess it's just in case if you ever want to do something further with this. But the one on the bottom is used to control the system. Uh, it's all ran integrated with the system. It will turn on remotely with the controller. Right here is your touchpad controller. As you can see, right now we're bouncing around six, three to six in, in, into the seven range. Um, you can see there's several screens in here with an overview. It shows you everything that's going on with the system. You got pumps and valves where I can manually change everything if I want. You can see the cryo pumps on and high back valves open. Then you got your gauges and you can see what it's reading. Like I said, it's right now. The one on the bottom is your cryo. The top one is your chamber. You can see I'm in the three range in the seven in the cryo and around five, six in the negative seven in the chamber. Over here you got rotation. I got rotation turned on and it's around 50%. You can just hit the buttons and change whatever you want. You can also do it by just up and down and changing it. Heat. Basically you have a heat controller down here. All you do is you turn it on up here to make it turn on. Right now I have it set at 70 degrees. And when you go back to the screen right here, this is telling you it's putting out right now 60% output going to it. So you'll see this come up uh, slowly. It all depends on what your PID parameters are. This other screen is sputter control, which I will get back to. I'll show you how to do sputter on this thing. Auto. Auto will tell you if you want to auto pump down or auto vent. And the last one is your service screen, which where it can change your contrast of your screen and also do the time. Down, this is your temperature controller, of course. This has a substrate heater. It's good for 100 degrees. Down below, this is your Inficon deposition monitor. It doesn't control it, it just does the monitoring part. So we're gonna come back up here, and I'm gonna get you so we can put a plasma in here. So I'm gonna go to sputter control. I'm gonna turn the gas on. As you can see, I rose it all the way up to 50, Militor, which is in the negative three. Oh, I need to get a negative two. All right, now we're gonna come over and we're gonna sputter on cathode one. And then I'm gonna turn on and if you look inside the chamber you can see that you have the sputter now what we're using for targets is just a cut piece of aluminum sheet so it's not the best material to be going with it will smooth it out at the right pressure now I'm going to go to cathode 2 I'm going to shut it off Go back over here, go to two, turn it on, and you can see the other target over there lit up. Shut it off, and go back over to cathode three. see it's lit up again. Now what I'm going to do is go over to the auto section. Let me make sure I turn off the gas and the power. Come over to auto and then what I'm going to do is auto vent and we can look inside the chamber. Okay, to let you know that your chamber's at pressure, atmosphere, you can look at the gauge all the way back there and see where it says 770. That is that atmosphere. Can it open up right here? 
and you can see the inside of the chamber has everything deposited on here. You can see those are your three targets, and it's actually warm in here because we have the uh, substrate heater on. I'll show you to turn on the rotation. I just turned it on, it's at 41%. I'll drop it to 20. And you can see it slow down, and I'll also put it up to 80%. It's sped up. Now it's off.